Matthew McConaughey has been in the news discussing gun rights and control over the past few years, going as far as the White House. But in this classic interview from The View, the actor shut down host Joy Behar when she attempted to bait him with a misleading question, as she always does with guests that she even slightly disagrees with. Hello and welcome back to Resist the Mainstream. I'm Steve Inman, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Don't forget to subscribe and, of course, hit that notification bell to stay up to date with more classic content we're about to witness. Well, we've all seen McConaughey speak on the topic of gun control in the past. He does seem to be a little more liberal when it comes to gun control following the gruesome school shootings in his home state of Texas. While he supports the Second Amendment, kinda, he expressed his beliefs in stricter regulations and background checks at a White House speech back in 2022. We want secure and safe schools and we want gun laws that won't make it so easy for the bad guys to get these damn guns. So, we know it's on the table. We need to invest in mental health care. We need safer schools. We need to restrain sensationalized media coverage. We need to restore our family values. We need to restore our American values. And we need responsible gun ownership responsible gun ownership. We need background checks. We need to raise the minimum age to purchase an AR-15 rifle to 21. We need a waiting period for those rifles. We need red flag laws and consequences for those who abuse them. These are reasonable, practical, tactical regulations to our nation, states, communities, schools, and homes. Responsible gun owners are fed up with the Second Amendment being abused and hijacked by some deranged individuals. Because of his remarks, the View host, Joy Behar, mistakenly thought it would be appropriate to ask a baiting question that trapped the actor into an anti-gun context. McConaughey quickly picked up on the phrasing of the question and promptly shut down Behar, where she swiftly backed off. I don't think anyone thinks you're one way or another way. And in 2021, you considered a run for governor of the state of Texas before deciding to focus on your family. Do you think political office is in your future? Can you see that? If it's where I would deem myself to be most useful? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, as far as office, uh, I would. I'm still. I will always measure what category I can be most useful. Let oh. me go through. Do you think you could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? Do I think I could get elected in Texas being anti-gun? One thing about if, if, if me and politics is to give you a direct statement right there is yeah. be playing a game that I'm not interested in playing. Okay. To don't, give you don't a direct statement don't right do there. It. After what happened at Robin Elementary and many other schools. Um, uh, First bill was passed in 30 years to help make schools safer. Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. Billions of dollars to safe in schools. What I find out uh, months after the bill's been passed is that very few applications are going in from the school districts. And for those that are applying, very few are getting granted and awarded. Mm. So the money's still there. And we're like, wait, where's the gap? Well, we found out that these superintendents that have to fill out these grants to the government. Mm-hmm. A lot of them are driving the school bus, and they're the PE teacher, and this grant process is 50 pages, and it's intimidating. And I don't know about y'all, but I have trouble making it through filling a custom card out without having to scratch stuff out. It is intimidating, so they don't have the expertise at the time. Um, The government wants these grants to be filed. They want to spend the money. It's use it or lose it money. And if we don't spend that money that the government has, by 2026, it could be reallocated. So with the Green Lights Grant Initiative, which you can go to greenlightsgrantinitiative.org to find out more about it, we're helping with the grant writing process. Oh. We've hired grant writers that are coming on to go to these schools, the most, the highest need schools, lowest capacity schools throughout the United States that need the safer schools the most. We're helping them write the grant. Behar might have thought she was asking an innocent question, but the way she phrased it pushed McConaughey into an ideological hole. While he supports stricter regulations, he is no by no means anti-gun as Behar falsely labeled him. This is why McConaughey was visibly annoyed by the question and that he, like anybody, does not want to be represented incorrectly or politicized in a poor manner. What do you think about McConaughey's views on gun control? A little liberal if you ask me, but that's what kind of confuses me that Joy Behar would even get such an uprise out of this. He's basically on their side. Let us know in the comments below. Once again, this is Resist the Mainstream, reporting the news that the mainstream won't. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and of course, hit that notification bell for more classic videos. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you then.